All right, what's up, everybody? Today's question of the day is, what's your favorite color? Drop a comment down below and let me know. Mine is purple. Not like super pink-ish purple, but like more of like a dark violet more kind of purple. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. I hope it does. Purple. What's going on, world? Welcome back to another episode of the Plants and PRs podcast. The podcast to help you move better, feel better, and in the long run, look a hell of a lot better. My name is Tyler Regan. I'm a certified personal trainer, and I'm sorry if that just sounded weird. I had to edit the sound as we were going here. Um, I didn't realize I left the music up so super loud as I started to record this, and it's like I feel like I'm yelling at the microphone when I don't turn it down. And like nine times out of ten, if I ever sound louder in the beginning and then I bring my voice down later, it's because I left the music up too loud as I introduced the podcast. And uh, it's just yelling in my ears. So I have headphones on. So I just start screaming. <laughs> so I, I don't want my neighbor to think I'm like having a panic attack. So I just wanted to clarify that. Welcome back to the podcast. What's going on, everybody? Today, we're, we're, we're finishing up the, the second part to the thoracic spine episode from yesterday. Um, today, I want to talk about how working on thoracic spine mobility has helped me with all of the, the big movements. Um, you know, in New Jersey right now, gyms are open at 25% occupancy, but I'm actually moving in two months. So I haven't, I haven't signed back up for a gym. Um, but I have been going over to Attili's Gym Belmar. I've mentioned it a few times in the past few shows. Um, honestly, I, I really support those guys. So if I can just bring attention to it, like bring one other person's attention to that place and help them out, I, I'll, I'll do what I can. Um, but since I've been going to the gym, I've realized how much that thoracic spine mobility that I worked on so much throughout the quarantine has helped me with all my big lifts. Um, I, I mean, I've only done overhead press once. Duh, well, I did art, barbell RDLs and rack pulls the other day, so I'm, I'm counting that as close enough to a deadlift. Um, I haven't back squatted yet. I did some front squats a few weeks ago at a different gym. Those felt amazing. What else have I done? Um, bench. Bench felt really good, too. I felt really strong on bench. So working on thoracic spine mobility has helped me so much in all these lifts, and I want to explain to you guys a little bit why. Like I said to you yesterday, the thoracic spine is responsible for a lot of rotational movement. So again, just as a little refresher, the, the, the thoracic spine is the upper back. It makes up uh, your upper back muscles and your abs. Uh, it allows you to rotate from, the, from your hips up. And uh, when, when, when our thoracic spine gets all locked up, it can cause a lot of issues. It can cause a lot of back problems, a lot of uh, shoulder issues. And this is just what I've observed. Uh, again, I'm not a doctor or a physical therapist to any effect. I just really, really, really enjoy learning about the human body and how to overcome these things. You know, a lot of people like to complain old age is getting to them, and, and, and it's not really the case. What, what the problem is, is you haven't taken care of your body. And look, you know, there's new research coming out all the time when it comes to how to better maintain yourself, and, and older generations didn't have access to that. But it doesn't make an excuse today. Um, old age isn't necessarily what's killing us. It's disease and not taking care of ourselves. You know, it's not just the ones where we're, where we're putting ridiculous food in our mouth that cause like diabetes and, and cancers and stuff like that. Um, you know, us not taking care of our bodies is just as bad, you know, and it, and it's more than just the food we put in it. We have access, our joints are capable of so much. They have access to these ranges of motion, um, this mobility that most other animals don't even have. You don't, you don't have to look very far. You have a dog or a cat, they're not moving their spine in the same way you are because they're on forward ham legs. So, so we're really, we're really lucky. We have, we have access to so much as human beings, um, and people just don't take care of it, and it's important. So that's my whole spiel. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a physical therapist. I'm just a guy who gives a shit. And honestly, man, I want to change the personal training game. I really do. Uh, a lot of personal trainers just give you exercises to do that may not even work well for you. Um, you know, from what I can tell, it looks like the better coaches, like the powerlifting coaches and, and bodybuilding coaches and stuff like that, they really get it more. But like your everyday personal trainer at – Planet Fitness doesn't know anything about the human body, really. They just know that a curl hits your biceps. 
And I want to change that. And it starts with how we, we hold ourselves, how we carry ourselves around throughout the day. It starts with your posture. And that carries over into the gym. That's why these things matter. That's why I work on your mobility, especially at your thoracic spine matter. Um, so I definitely, definitely went off on a tangent there, but I'm really glad I said that because I really, really want to drive that point home. I'm sorry, I'm just behind on my water today, so I'm going to have to take a couple breaks to, to, to rehydrate. But I really want to bring that point home that I'm not a doctor or physical therapist. I'm just a guy who cares about these things. And I think everybody else should too. I really do. So your thoracic spine, we need, we need access to that. We need mobility through that. When you don't have thoracic spine mobility, you see it a lot. Um, it happens from sitting at desks all day. Your shoulders round forward and collapse in, and you're just hunched over like an asshole. Um, this is common. Gravity's pulling you down when you're at a computer all day. We're not meant to be sitting down for that long. So it collapses our thoracic spine. And over time, from not undoing what you're doing for four to eight hours a day, we have people who don't have access to this. So like I said, rotational movements, uh, open books, probably my favorite uh, mobility drill for, for the thoracic spine, you know, foam rolling it, using a lacrosse ball to get into like your traps, things of that effect. Um, really, really good ways to mobilize your, your thoracic spine. Um, one of the, Some of the ways it's helped me with the big lifts, uh, lat pull downs, for example. This was one that I never even thought about until, well, really today. I, I, I did a back workout at Attilis and I was using the mag strip. I don't know you guys, if you know what I'm talking about. When I say those mag strips, they have like the thumbless grips. I love them. I love them. It gives me such a good mind mus muscle connection with my lats with that particular attachment. But um, the, having access to my thoracic spine really has allowed me to open up my chest to really drive my elbows down and back to really hit my lats well, to really get my elbow extended behind my back to really hit the lower part of your lats. Your lats are a huge muscle. I don't know if people realize this. Your lats are huge. They run from the like the, the, the bottom of your hips. Well, I guess I shouldn't say the bottom of your hips, where your hips meet your torso, all the way up to like your elbow. So your lats are fucking huge. That's why some people have like massive wings. So in order to be able to hit those other parts of the lat muscles, you need good thoracic spine mobility to be able to open up your chest, to really extend yourself, stand up tall, and really drive that elbow back and, and down to your side. Really get the elbow extended behind the body. I never could before, and I, and I always struggled with a mind-muscle connection with my lats. Today, not a problem at all. It felt amazing. It felt amazing. And I could see the difference, too, when I was looking at the video. My, my form is way cleaner. Uh, my shoulders aren't in a vulnerable position. That's another thing. That's another thing thoracic spine mobility will give you access to is more range of motion at your shoulders. Um, not only do you need to work on strengthening your rotator cuff muscles to be able to hold yourself up in that extended spine position, like not, again, not overextended, but you know, standing up tall, holding your chest up high. Um, it'll put your shoulders in a real good position. You, you, you need to have those, those internal and external rotators. Uh, you need them strong, but in order to even put yourself in that good position, you need thoracic spine mobility. So that, 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 that carries over to, to lat pull downs because it puts your shoulders in a better position, allows you to get your, your elbows back and extended behind your body a little bit more. By putting your shoulders in a good position, good thoracic spine mobility is great for overhead pressing and bench pressing. Overhead pressing because you don't have to worry about any kind of impingement. When your shoulders are rounded forward and, and your thoracic spine collapses in, your shoulders in a very vulnerable, vulnerable position, like I've already said. And allowing yourself to open up at your chest creates more space in the shoulder joint, which allows you to actually press overhead without compensating. When we lack thoracic spine mobility, what a lot of people do is they overarch their back to be able to get their, their heads above their, their head. And what this does is it turns off your core muscles because you're poking your butt back and you're, you're overextending at your back. Your erector spinae, the lower back muscles, are, are overcompensating for the fact that you lack strength in your glutes and your core and you lack thoracic spine mobility you see how all this plays into a, in, into effect everything's intertwined when it goes when it starts with your feet you have to have good fit foot sorry i'm like getting ahead of myself i'm so excited to talk about this you have to have good foot positioning to be able to get a good uh, connection with your glutes to so really squeeze your glutes to really stabilize yourself and then squeeze your core open up your thoracic spine it all plays a role it's the same thing when it comes to bench pressing. Again, to open up your chest, you have to open up through your thoracic spine. You have to extend upwards. And you really have to, I mean, I'm sorry, not really have to. 
again, getting ahead of myself here. Um, this is actually, this is a really awesome topic for me. I just, I want to make sure I'm phrasing it right to help you guys. So when you bench press, uh, with good uh, amount of thoracic spine mobility, it allows you to extend upwards, open up your chest to really get a good stretch on your chest. And again, the bench press, uh, incline bench press too, are exercises where if you don't have good thoracic spine mobility, you put your shoulder in that vulnerable position, things can happen. I'll just leave it at that. I'm not going to speculate as to what can happen, but things can happen. So it's it's important to really make sure you're opening up through your thoracic spine, but maintaining that proper braced core when you're doing a bench. It puts your shoulders in a good position, allows you to get more of a stretch on your chest. You just got to make sure you're not overcompensating at your low back to round down there. That's a common um, compensation for people. Uh, the other thing, the, oh, the other thing, squats. Let me just talk about squats for a second. Like I said, I did some front rack squats at a gym called Ironstone Barbell up in PA, and it was awesome. I have ne- like my front rack squats, my front squats. I do uh, an actual front rack positioning where you get your elbows underneath yourself, um, and then you tuck the barbell and it rests on your collarbone. You have both your arms underhand. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm, I'm like holding myself up like you guys can see me right now. So I do a typical front rack uh, position. I don't cross my arms over my, my uh, torso. And it, and because I had this thoracic spine mobility, it really allowed me to get underneath the barbell and really hold my, my arms up t- uh, tall. It allowed me to really d- uh, have that shelf to rest the bar on because I was able to get my elbows up high. I was able to really rest the barbell on my upper chest. And it allowed me to really hit a good depth squat. I never realized how much I used to fall forward on my front rack squats before I really worked on my thoracic spine mobility. Um, I'm glad I didn't hurt myself before. I, 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 it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good either. So th- this, the thoracic spine mobility has allowed me to hit a depth squat, especially in the front rack position, uh, which for me was harder, with without any kind of compensation. I used to have really bad butt wink issues where I would hit about parallel and then my pelvis would dump underneath of me. Um, a couple things I think that was from was ankle mobility. I really had uh, tight ankles before. I still do, still working on it, but I, it was bad before. That was one. And two, I didn't really have a good handle on how to brace myself properly. My core would just give out mid squat and that was the reason my pelvis would just dump underneath. So thoracic spine mobility has allowed me to get in that better position to have my shoulders in a good position so I don't have to over, or there goes the coffee maker. So I don't have to um, compensate by rounding my lower back to get to a depth squat. The, the fact that I didn't have to compensate allowed me to maintain a brace core, my chest up high, and really hit that depth with no problems. I really hope that makes sense to you guys because thoracic spine mobility really is one of the biggest issues I see out there. Um, it gives you access to proper posture to hold yourself upright throughout the day. It really has been a difference break, uh, breaker for me. Um, just understanding how to even put yourself in that position. Uh, I think I've said this on the podcast, but I really want to say it again. I was doing a yoga class one day, and the woman who was running it said, you know, uh, make sure you open up through your thoracic spine, uh, hold your breastbone up tall, you know, look up straight, and think about pulling yourself up from your head. I'm pretty sure I said this yesterday too. So for me, I'm just like, I think about pulling, someone pulling me up from my hair, you know, without having to compensate my lower back. So I kind of squeeze my glutes to hold myself in place. And then I, I, I open up my chest and think about being pulled up from the, my head or from my hair. And that's kind of how I put myself in that position. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, you know, apply it when you do a squat, a deadlift, a bench. It helps. It puts you in a better position. It allows you to generate more force. It allows you to keep a better, a tighter core. It allows you to keep yourself properly braced better. And it's just, it's functional. Having good thoracic spine mobility is functional. It's going to have a lot of transfer in life. So I really, really, really hope you guys took something from this because I don't know how well I got my message across, but this is important. And um, at the very least, I would say if, if what I said didn't make sense, do more research. Seriously. Um, I'm going to leave a couple of links in the show notes for some articles I read that were really good by a few doctors or physical therapists, doctors of physical therapy. 
really, really recommend them. Thoracic spine mobility is the is the is the thing. It's the move. Um, that in your hips, definitely two of the biggest issues I see in the world. Work on your thoracic spine mobility. I promise you, it will make a difference. If you guys took anything from this, please leave a rate and review on the show on iTunes. If you're on YouTube, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you want to hear, what you want to talk about. Um, Answer the question of the day, and I will check you guys out in the next episode. Peace. Thank you for watching the entire video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe button, uh, the notification bell, and stay tuned for more because I'm going to start uploading more podcast episodes here. And uh, yeah.